What's up guys and gals, Brian Tong here and I am super excited to show this off. This is gonna be the first look of the new Nike Adapt BB, or the basketball edition of their shoe. This is really the second generation of the Nike Adapt platform. We have them right here in front of me. They look really killer. You can kind of see kind of those hints and nods to the Kobe design in the line, but what makes it special really is the technology that's packed inside of there. So let's just kind of jump into what it does. First thing I'm gonna show you here is on the side here, you have two manual buttons. Now these buttons allow you to loosen or tighten the shoe manually. You'll click here to loosen it, click here to tighten it. That's fine. Also, when you wanna take off the shoe, you just hold the uh, loosen button down for two seconds. You can slip your foot on. That's the overall kind of like quick way to get access to them. But what really makes this magical is the app. There's a companion app that becomes a part of this. And what it allows you to do is, right, this is a smart connected shoe. The app itself allows you to adjust the tightness for each shoe individually. What also is unique here, you can see those colored lights. I can change the color of the lights on the shoe to personalize it. Come on, like this is, this is already, I'm already getting giddy about this. The other thing that makes this cool is let's say if you're gonna play basketball, you want this really like snug lockdown fit. Well, you can actually create a profile or kind of create a personalized setting for whether you're wearing it on the court. If you're gonna go casual, you can also change that setting for yourself. So you can create kind of different profiles that you can instantly jump into. And yes, you're all wondering, right, how much battery power does these things have? Well, they've told us it lasts around 10 to 14 days. You put them on this new power mat to wirelessly charge them. So they have a power mat for these shoes, you drop them on there, three hours gets you a full charge. Um, people that have been using them have said they've lasted even up to two months. I can tell you with the first gen ones, they lasted a long time where I didn't even think about it, but there will be occasional times where you'll have to check it out. While they're on the power mat, you can see the status of their power. But also, look, we're talking about a smart connected app. It tells you the battery power in these shoes as well. So everything is about really the connection between the shoes and the app. Nike says that this is their most tested shoe ever. They went through 55 iterations to finally get to the Nike Adapt BB that we see today. New materials, right? People don't think of Nike as a technology company. I, that's how I've always felt about them. They've created new materials like this. The actual material on here is called Quad Fit. It stretches in four different directions to allow the lacing system to really give you a personalized, customized fit to your foot. And I think what really stands out is the first generation, which I have right here, because, you know, I'm a sneakerhead, I love this stuff, this tech stuff. The lacing was all like tight up here, right? It was all self-contained, but when you put on the Nike Adapt BBs, it surrounds the foot. You'll get it tightening from the top. You'll also see the lacing system go to the back, so you get a heel lockdown on top and bottom. It just kind of envelopes and surrounds your, your foot. I've never felt anything like this on a shoe ever, and I think people that are like, oh, it's just a gimmick. This is not a gimmick. Like, we're in generation two. This is something special, and I think that people that try this on, they're gonna want more of it. If we also wanna talk about, like, a lot of the nitty-gritty tech that's actually inside here, the Nike Adapt comes with three processors on board. It has a six axis gyroscope and accelerometer. So think of like the stuff that's in your iPhone. That's also in there. It has a capacitive sensor. Uh, think of it like not, not necessarily exactly a touchscreen, but when you put your foot in, it uses this sensor to detect that your foot's there to tighten it and know whether you're in or out of the shoe. There's memory on board to store program code and also a high performance Bluetooth low energy chip, which will allow it to talk to other devices. And when we ask the team, they wouldn't tell us exactly, but this is a platform. This is an ecosystem. You can see them really building this into other shoes. They even said they had a prototype running version of the shoe. So that tells us that they already have a running version of the shoe made. They, they didn't officially announce that, but if they've been testing a running version, you can tell like what's next. Now, how much are these shoes? Well, don't, you know, don't cringe too much. It's $350 per pair, which is a lot better than the $720 for the first generation. They were available for a limited time on pre-order. That's already closed, so we don't know the next window of time when they'll be available, but they will be coming out on February the 17th. But there you go, just kind of like an in-depth, nitty-gritty first look at the Nike Adapt BBs, and I'm getting these boys. Let's shot. Ooh. One and done, one and done.